you're watching Hair and TV. Good morning, Herons, and welcome back to another edition of Heron TV. Another edition? You know, the students have been doing such an amazing job with Heron TV every week, and we love sitting in our CCC class watching each, week, each week's episode. Yeah, the kids have been doing a great job, but we thought we'd give them a little bit of a break yeah. because they've been working so hard, but they'll be back next week with a special holiday edition of Heron TV. So I'm Mr. Oliver, and I'll be your host today along with Mr. Bridge, and That's let's get right in to this week's Admin Tips. Hey, Herons. Happy Tuesday. First off, we want to thank you. Last week, we talked about uh, skipping cell phones. And, and vandalism. vandalism. And vandalism. And things have been so much better around the school. Thank you so much for helping out and being a part of this community. And please keep it up. We really appreciate it, as does your classmates and peers. Hey, I think it's time for a Heron call out. Woohoo! Woo All right, Herons, if your name was picked, don't forget to go to the office and pick up your prize. So thank you again for, for your effort last week. We do have three more things that we would ask. We do have three more things that we'd like to ask you to work on. Uh, I guess I'm doing that. Okay. Right. So there are three things that we definitely would love for you to work on for this week in continuation with what you have been doing already. Um, we want to talk about um, inappropriate language. We also want to talk about fighting. And we want to talk about inappropriate talking. Inappropriate verbal assaults. Ver thank you. Verbal assaults. And we want to talk about verbal assaults. I'm going to start with verbal assaults. It, anything that's racist, homophobic, Sexualized language will not be tolerated towards any student in the school. This, again, is a community. We need to be kind to one another and treat each other with respect. I'm going to talk about fighting. We all know we kind of get irritated with each other once in a while. If you're finding yourself in that situation, do not take things into your own hands. Go and see a teacher. Talk to a counselor. Come and see one of us. Please. Please. Keep your hands to yourself. Do not put your hands on another student. And I'm going to talk about inappropriate language, and more specifically around profanity. Um, again, we are a community. You guys are young folks, and we want to keep our, our language very clean around each other. I know that you guys don't do that at home, and if you do, eh. so if you can please just be mindful about the people around you, the adults around you, and let's keep our language clean. As Heron Heroes and Herons here, we want to make, put our best foot forward and have a great impression on everyone. Thanks, you guys. And thanks again, Herons. We can all work together to ensure that everyone is welcome here and feels safe. Have a great week. Have a great week. Thanks, admin team. You know, it really does take everyone to cooperate to build a positive community like we have here at HVMS. You know, Mr. Bridge, our school showed awesome school spirit with a penny drive and with Spirit Week. It was pretty fantastic. In fact, they've got some big plans for next week. So let's turn things over to Stuco TV and find out more. Big plans. Welcome to Stuco TV. Welcome to the Student Council's Way to Tell the School about what's happening here at HVMS. Hi everyone, I'm Kasdan. And I'm Hannah. I'm Jube. And I'm Dad. We also want to remind you that we have a Give One Take One poster on the second floor. This poster is spread kindness to anyone that needs it. Just take one of the positive sticky notes and give it to a friend or someone you know that is having a rough time.
Hello here, we hope you have an awesome Thanksgiving break. On December 10th through 16th, we are hosting a canned food drive. According to the Oregon Hunger Task Force, one in four Oregonians are food insecure. That's really high. To take action here at HVMS, we will have our canned food drive just as we stated. Who are we exactly helping? The Witches Eye Center is a place where students and families in North Clackamas District want to help feed families that need food desperately. Our goal is... 2,500 cans! We can do it, Herons. With help from schools around Clackamas, we can send food to the families and show our spirit. Whenever you bring in canned food, you also get a raffle ticket to win prizes. So, bring in canned food and you have a chance to win a prize. Woohoo! This Friday is our first Friday competition, which is ducks versus beavers. We are ducks or beavers gear and bring in cans for your favorite team. You know, I'd just like to thank Stuco TV for their amazing work around the Penny Drive, and I'm so excited about the canned food drive. But, you know, Mr. Oliver, there's one thing they forgot. What's that, Mr. Bridge? They never had a sports team-themed day. Oh, that's right. They didn't. I think we should fix that right now. Don't you? Yeah, let's do it. There we go. That's what I'm talking about with some spirit. Oh, yeah. This is what we need around this school. Uh-huh. Well, you don't meet a lot of Cleveland Browns fans. You know, what's is that Pittsburgh Steelers? Are they like a minor league ping pong uh, team? Actually, they are the Super Bowl champion Pittsburgh Steelers. That's right. They've got seven Super Bowl rings. How many did the Browns have? I'm sorry. What's that? I can't uh, hear All right. You. Well, so whether you show your spirit by being a Cleveland Browns fan or a Pittsburgh Steelers fan, whatever you can do is you can show your spirit by giving back and bringing cans in the canned food drive. You know what? That makes me kind of thirsty. There we go. Ready? Cheers. Cheers. You know, when I think about December and the season and football, it makes me think about whether or not the Steelers are really a football team. But speaking of weather, I think it's time for our seven-day forecast. Let's take a look. So that's your seven day forecast, Heron. So make sure you dress for the weather that we're gonna ha be having this week. Absolutely. All right, well, now that we've got the weather, I think it's time for a little bit of humor in our show. So let's turn things over to our intro to video students with this week's joke of the day. It's a good one. Thanks. My name is John Good. Good. It's good to meet you. How was your first day? It went pretty well. Being new is hard, but at least my brother started here today as well. Oh, what's his name? Maybe I'm the same class as him. His name is All. Uh, is your brother's last name the same last name as All Good? Yeah, but apparently he ended up cutting off the left side of his body and engineer it today. Whoa, that's horrible. Don't worry, he's all right now. <laughs> 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 Now that joke was all right with me. All right, so Herons, go ahead and keep sending in those jokes. That was submitted by Max Green, so great job. And if you send in the joke, our classes will act them out and they might just end up on the air. How, many, how much Cleveland Browns gear do you own? Oh, I just have a few more items. This is crazy. In fact, why we're dressed like this is pretty random. Why don't we uh, move over to the uh, random fact of the episode? Hello, and welcome to the random fact of the episode. I'll bring you back to Dylan in the backyard. Hello, and welcome to the random fact of the episode. I'm Dylan, and the random fact of the episode is, did you know that a giant baby panda's newborn baby is the size of a butter stick? That's pretty big for a baby. Thank you, Dylan. So, that was a pretty random fact. Wouldn't you say? 
The size of a stick of butter? That's amazing. Yeah, you really learned some random things on Heron TV. Thanks again, Intro to Video students, for another great submission. So um, this time of the show, we're going to move things along to uh, a little bit of inspiration. So let's get to the quote of the week. Here it comes. You know, that quote really makes me appreciate the idea of giving, especially around this time of year. If you're looking for some gift ideas, though, please don't give anyone that sweater. You, that you, is not. You don't like my holiday sweater? It's, uh, it's some pretty, uh, it's a special holiday sweater. All right, fair enough. Hi guys, Mrs. H here. I am so excited to let you know that concerts are back. The choir concert is this coming Thursday night at 7 p.m. in the gym, and the orchestra concert is Monday night of next week at 7 p.m. in the gym. And we also want to let you know that they will be live streaming on the Heron Television YouTube channel if everything goes as planned. And we are just so excited to be back doing what we love, and we hope to see you there. Thanks. Hey, Mr. Oliver. How's the yearbook coming along? The yearbook is coming along fantastic. You've probably seen our photographers out in classes taking pictures. Thanks so much for, uh, for showing your spirit and participating. Now, we also have our yearbook cover contest. Mm. So if you want to have your idea be submitted for the yearbook, please get that into me by Monday, December 13th, so we can vote on it the following day in Community and Connections. So the winning selection is going to be the cover of our yearbook and all the entries will be featured in our book so it's going to be pretty excellent way to show off your art fantastic and remember the colors brown and orange go together really well in your artwork brown and orange well luckily those aren't our school colors but we are going to have a pretty awesome yearbook so make sure to submit your entry also, if you haven't had a chance to purchase your yearbook, make sure you either purchase that with Miss Fish or you can go ahead and order it through the pay parent payment portal found on our website. That's a mouthful. Is that a PPP? That's the PPP, the triple P. Mm -hmm. So uh, there you go. So uh, make sure to buy your yearbook by the end of December so that we can get a final tally. We don't want anyone to be left out when our yearbooks come this June. Well, I think that's about it. We've gone on long enough, Mr. Bridge. You know, I think, Mr. Oliver, despite our differences, Steelers, Browns, I think we can find some common ground. And, uh, you know, I think despite our differences, there's one thing we have in common. Is it that we both are glad we're not Saints fans? That's right. Who'd that, want to be a Saints fan? I don't know. Really? Must be. Uh, takes a special kind of crazy to be a fan of the New Orleans Saints. Mm-hmm. Well... That's all we have time for. Nice pleasure hosting with you, Mr. Bridge, pleasure even if you are a Browns fan. Yeah, well, I hope uh, I didn't steal the show from you, Mr. Oliver. All right. Well, that's it for this week. We'll uh, tune in next Tuesday for another episode of Heron TV. I'm Mr. Oliver. And I'm Mr. Bridge. Have a great day, Herons. Have fun. <laughs>